Now, welcome to video two. So we want to start working on this picture. But before we start uh, modifying this picture, I want you to know the resolution of the picture you are looking at. Photoshop allows you to see the size of the picture you are working with. And this is how you know it. So let's come to the image option in the menu bar. You click on image and select image size and click so this brings out the image size the size of this image is 1280 pixels by 1024 pixels so which means this image may is very big and we can use it for our work remember you can change the pixels to percent if you want to depending on your preference so the width of this image in centimeter is 45.16 and the height is 36.12 and in this instance too, you can change it to inches. You know, our work is in inches. So our work is 17 inches 0.778 by 14 inches 0.222. So the work we were doing here is 8 inches by 5 inches, which means this is be a very big picture when we insert it into our project. So what we are going to do now is to reduce the size of this image. So to reduce the size of the image, what we just need to do is to click inside the width and make sure these three dialog boxes are checked. What is the meaning of these three dialog boxes? The scale styles, constraint proportions and resample image are important, especially constraint proportions. Constraint proportions allows your image to remain in the same aspect ratio when you reduce the size of the image for instance you will see the constraint proportions in actions by the time i start resizing now i'm going to click on the width remember the width of our image that we created first is eight inches wide so i'm going to type eight you see we have 14.222 at the height so by the time i type eight you discover that it has changed to 6.4 which means the computer automatically recalculated the height to be in the same proportion with the width. So we are going to click on OK now. The image is now smaller. So the next thing we are going to do is to transfer the image from this image file into the Photoshop class 1 that we just created. So I'm going to click on the Move tool. It's important you click on the Move tool before doing this type of action if it has not yet been clicked well this is photoshop uh, cs4 and to move the image i click on the image and drag it to the next tab and drag it to my canvas then i leave the mouse button that's how to insert an image into another file if you are using photoshop 7 just click on the image in the image window and drag it into the canvas you just created the same thing will happen so we have the image showing inside our canvas and to let you see the difference now i can click on this image and move it around using my move tool so uh, that being done we want to start working on this image by applying transformation now I want to teach you how to transform an image. To transform this image, I'm going to use what we call the rectangular marquee tool. The rectangular marquee tool allows you to cut off portions of the image. Now, in the right hand side of your screen, you should see what we call the layers panel. This is the layers panel, and this layers panel shows you the number of layers on your work or your project and also shows you the name of the layer for instance we have here layer one and this is layer two so the layer two contains the picture so in this particular tutorial i'm going to rename this layer two and call it the couple so to rename a layer you right click on that layer and you see go to layer properties and click then instead of layer two I'll now type the couple. 
and click on OK. So if you look at the layer now, you discover that what we have here is the couple. So you'll be able to identify each layer. So the next thing I want to do is to use the rectangular marquee tool as I said earlier. So I click on the rectangular marquee tool. Then I look for a portion that is distant from the face of this couple. Then I come to this corner because this place is kind of distant, the corner of this leaf. Then I click and drag to draw um, a box containing the face of both couple. Looks something like a passport size. So I will leave my mouse button. And you see that there are some dots that are or dash lines that are matching around. We call them the matching ants. So once this has been done, um, you can uh, then click on the move to. But before I click on the move to, it's possible that you made a mistake while drawing this uh, rectangle. So if you made a mistake, you click, you press Control on your keyboard and D to deselect. Control D is for deselecting the matching ants. So I'm going to draw it again. I click and drag over the couple to draw my box. So the next thing I will do is to take my move to. I click on move to. So once I've clicked on the move to now, I'm ready for work. And what kind of work do I want to do? I want to create a duplicate copy. Well, not completely a duplicate copy, but a cut off copy of what the selection you are looking at is. So what I will do is press the control key and letter J, J for joy. So control and J creates the cut off duplicate copy I was talking about. So to show you that this picture has been cut, I'm going to hide the couple layer that we created. I'll click on this eye icon to see that we have really cut off the image. So I will unhide it, meaning that we have two images on this screen, the image I cut and the image at the background. But because the image that I cut off is laid perfectly on the background image, you may not notice that the image was cut off. So the next thing we want to do now is to modify the image we have cut. So to modify this image, I'm going to apply a style called stroke. So I'm going to right click on this layer 2. So this layer 2, I can rename it by right clicking on it. So I right click on it and select layer properties. So in the layer properties, I will call it cut off and press OK. Now, we want to modify the cut off. So I will right click here, cut off and select blending options and click. I've clicked on blending options. So what I'm looking for is the stroke option. Now, I want to use color white in my stroke. So I'll change the color. Let me cancel that. I click on this color. Then it brings out a dialog box. So I'm going to change this color to white. I'll move this icon that looks like a circle near the closer to white region. Then I'll click here to make it a perfect white. Then click on OK. Now we have the color now showing as white. Now the size of the um, stroke, let's change it to 5. I'm going to change it to 5. Then um, I'm going to also change the position to inside. So I've changed the position to inside. So I think I'm comfortable with what I've seen here. So you to follow these steps on your computer. Then click on OK. Now if you look on this screen now, you discover we have applied a stroke around the image of the couple. The next thing we want to do is to reduce the saturation of the background color. So I'm going to click on the couple now. 
the one that we created first. I click on this layer. Then I'm going to press a key combination called Control plus U. So you press Control U. So Control and letter U for umbrella. Then we now click on the saturation slider and drag it backwards. This will reduce the saturation and we have um, slide it to the extreme left hand side. Then we click on OK. Now have a look at the picture we just created. You have reduced the saturation of the background and the foreground is uh, with colors. So you too, if you have done the same thing I've done, you should see the same thing showing on your screen. So in the next video, we are going to now put in text into our invitation card and add more designs. I hope you are enjoying this training. See you in the next video. Bye.